From the Louisiana Superdome in New Orleans, CST is proud to bring you the 2007 LHS AA State Farm Prep Classic presented by Southern Quality Ford Dealers. Tonight, it's a Class 4A matchup between the Archbishop Shaw Eagles and the defending state champions of Louisiana, the Bastrop Rams. Hello, everybody. Welcome inside the Superdome with Rob Mishmack. I'm Dennis McCain, Rob Bastrop, the defending state champions, and uh, you got to beat them to take it away. Well, you do. 43-0. and 0. They have not lost a football game since 2005. They're the defending state 4A state champions. Loaded again. Well, Coach Brad Bradshaw's club always does a very nice job, and they've got a quarterback that just flat out can get it done. Well, he's an experienced young man at quarterback, Randall Mackey is the young man we're talking about. Two-time defending, uh, two-time All-State quarterback, Randall Mackey. Combined yardage this year, 3,786 yards, 944 rushing, 30 touchdowns through the air, 2842 passing, and 16 touchdowns on the ground. Probably will be a three-time All-State quarterback and trying to win their third straight state championship. Well, we'll have to watch out for the defense of Archbishop Shaw, and they have a good nose guard. Well, they certainly do, Mr. Tranchina. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what, he's not big, but he'll pop you. They've only allowed 108 points, and with three shutouts in the 14 games, they're only allowing eight points per game, so something's got to give. Bastrop averages 40 a game. This defense only gives up eight a game, led by that young man right there, number 45, Chaz Tranchina. So... Something's got to give. Either the Shaw defense is going to stuff them or the Bastards offense is going to roll over you. So it's, it's going to be one of the two. It's a rematch of last year's state championship game in 4A. The Bastard Rams and the Archbishop Shaw Eagles coming straight ahead from the Superdome in New Orleans for 4A and the championship. The 2007 LHSAA State Farm Prep Classic on CST is brought to you by State Farm, title sponsor of the 2007 Prep Classic, by the Southern Quality Ford Dealers, presenting sponsor of the 2007 LHSAA State Farm Prep Classic, by Chase, title sponsor of the LHSAA All-Academic Program, by Coca-Cola, sponsor of LHSAA State Championship Events, by the United States Marine Corps, the few, the proud, the Marines. By Mushmack Flash Picks Photography, official photographer of the LHSAA. By Wendy's and the Wendy's High School Heisman Program, proud sponsor of the LHSAA. By Bodden, the Bodden Perfection F7000L is the official game ball of the 2007 LHSAA State Farm Prep Classic. By Gatorade, official thirst quencher of the LHSAA. By Tulane Sports Medicine, the official health care system of the LHSAA. By NOLA.com, official home of LHSAA statistics and information. It's the 4A state championship game, the Bastrop Rams entering the Superdome, and there are the Archbishop Shaw Eagles in green. As we welcome you inside with Rob Bushback on Dennis McCain, let's check in with the third member of our crew as we go to Trusty Lindecker. Well, thank you so much. It's a little loud down here to he hear anything. We've got a great matchup in 4A tonight. It's going to be an all-out war. You will have Bastrop's air attack led by Randall Mackey. He's got over 2,800 yards this season against Shaw's running attack, led by running back Stephon Gray. He's put up over 2,000 yards rushing this season and 21 touchdowns. But defense will also factor into tonight's game. Shaw has forced eight fumbles in four of their last playoff games, and Bastrop has forced 11 fumbles, recovering two for touchdowns. Guys, sit back. This one's going to be good. I think you're right, Tressie. Rob, uh, this one promises to be... A slugout. Both teams, a repeat of last year when the two teams played for the state championship. Bastrop won it. Let's see what happens this year. You know Archbishop Shaw glad to have another chance. Yeah, they are. And it, we talked about Bastrop's 43-0, 43-game win streak. Well, if it wasn't for Bastrop, this football team in green would have a 29-game win streak. They're 28-1 in the last two years, and the only one is for the guys in the white with the blue helmets. John Bond kicks it off and kicks the football in the end zone. The Bastrop Rams start at their own 20-yard line. If I'm a Division I football coach, I give that guy a scholarship right now. 
because I have watched college football games the entire season and have yet to see a guy kick one into the end zone. So if, if that guy wants to come kick for me, just sign right here and I got you, I got you, I got you comp for four years. Mackey is handing off and moving the football back this way for a nice gain on first down and a good play as they give it to Bradshaw. Misdirection, Bradshaw hustles out over the 30-yard line. And the Powered by NOLA.com instant replay doing some Fred Astaire down the near sidelines. Yep, 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 yep. Well, NOLA.com in the action early on as they sponsored that big kickoff that went into the end zone also. Well, this time it's back the other way for Bradshaw. Get in the backfield. Bob, Scott Bob got him. And the, the, the master of skill position players brought to you by your Southern Quality Ford dealers, Hawkins, Patterson, Randall Smith, and Josh Bradshaw up front. And they're a good one. Carlson, Patrick, Rogers, Moore, and Saya. Second down, 12 to go for Pastrup, and they just keep handing it off. This time back this way toward us to Patterson. And Shaw's doing a good job defensively. Chris Price comes up. Let's take a look at him. A so Southern Quality action. Ford look at him. Up front, Lacey, Tranchina, and Boise. The linebackers, Crescione, Robinson, and Connors. And the secondary going to be tested. Sandoval, Price, Bob, Boudreaux, and Boyd. Well, let's see what the Rams do here. Third down and seven to go. Mackey will keep it. The Eagles grab Mackey. He leads ahead. Slashes over the 40. Just over the 40. That's short of the first down, though. The Bastard Brands will punt it away, Lacey. Lacey was spying on Mackey and uh, knocks him down. Just over the 40-yard line, the Rams will punt it. Wilson is in the game to punt the football. Boudreau is standing back at his own 27-yard line. Boudreau does not call the fair catch. He's down at the 26. Safely catching the ball is charging down to make the tackle was Edward Patterson. Shaw will get it for the first time at their own 26-yard line. Well, the Shaw, Shaw defense did their job. Andrew Starkey, they don't throw it a whole lot. But when 33% of your passes are for touchdowns, <laughs> that's one out of three is a touchdown. Starkey with a flag. Bastra possibly encroachment, maybe stepped into the neutral zone. And when that happens in high school, you cannot step back and continue the play. Five yards coming against Dead the Bastard Rams. Encroachment. Defense. Brad Bradshaw. Scott Bain's father. Andrew Starkey, the quarterback, puts a man in motion. The ball is on the ground, and Starkey is sacked back at the 19. Jones was the first Ram to charge in there. The with the Jones. Starkey took over as that quarterback. As the season unfolded, uh, they, the Eagles lost several plays, including their starting quarterback, Lamar Robinson, to a season ending injury. And he hasn't been around much, but uh, Starkey's got him here. Playing for a state championship. Starkey's handing off across the 25 yard line out to the 28 as we look at the offense. Backs and receivers. Gladsacker, Gray, Walker, Hill, and Doom, Dumas. Rapolo, Blair, Matrana, Stein, 
and Meyer Shaw, the offensive line, the offensive starters, Southern Quality Ford offensive starters for the Shaw Eagles. Wide receivers all over the field for Archbishop Shaw. The look in pass at the 29 yard line to Walker. Walker's pitched and he's down at the 28. The flag on the play might have been a face mask. If it's five, it won't hurt them. Well, there was that no much. gain. It won't hurt except for the fact that they'll get third down over. If it's 15, well, that, that's an automatic first down. Face mask, defense. Is it five or 15? Oh, they're gonna mark it off. So they'll replay third down, it'll be a third and about three. Third down comes over again, third down. A long two to go for the Eagles, the Shaw Eagles. From the West Bank on the other side of the river. They're from New Orleans. Andrew Starkey again. This time will get the right snap. He has one man in the backfield with him. Rams back off a little. Starkey wants to throw. He throws. Incomplete. Incomplete. to get it out there to a receiver. Astrup comes up and they hit on Hill. The ball pops out and Shaw will punt it away. John Bond is the man who will kick it. Gary John Bond, he puts a foot into it. Hits. And is picked up at the 19-yard line by Randall, Ruben Randall. Look out! Randall to the outside. Down the sideline he goes out of bounds. A big return to midfield for Bastrop. Shoving him out of bounds was Corbin Bond. Bobbled it. Bounced right back up to him. Could have been trouble there, but... Got it outside and just not enough to get it to the corner. But good field position right at midfield for, for Bastrop. 7.53 to go in the quarter. Mackey hasn't put it up yet in their first offensive series. Will he put it up here? Keeps it inside the 45 to the 40. Mackey heading to the house inside the 10. Touchdown. A flag after the touchdown, but the Rams have six on the board. So Mackey goes 50 on the first play, but will be penalized 15 yards for taunting. Wow. That happened quick. Unsportsmanlike conduct, offense, penalized at the proceeding spot. That'll cost him 15. Well, uh, that's, yeah, that's going to be on the kick. They're going to back up there. This is not going to make this automatic. Kind of Reggie bushed it over the goal line, but... That 15 yards uh, is certainly going to make that an extra point now, 35-yarder. Hector Cabrera is in the game to attempt the PAT. He'll uh, hit it from the 25, make it a 35-yard attempt. Cabrera puts a foot into it. There you go. He's not going to get there. Well, there you go. get six, but the penalty could have cost him the extra point. With 7.43 to go in the first quarter, of the 4A state championship game, the pass for Brands as Mackey 
eases into the end zone, leads the Shaw Eagles six. Welcome back, everybody. The Bastrop Rams out to a six to nothing lead, and that helped them very, very quickly as Randall Mackley took it to the end zone, and we are honored by the presence of our new commissioner of the Louisiana High School Athletic Association. We welcome Kenny Henderson. Welcome, Commissioner. Thank y'all. Thank y'all very much well, we, for having me. We tell you, we'd give you the best seat in the house. It, this is a good we, seat. We couldn't get you right at the 50, but no. about the 48 will have to do. That, that'll have to do tonight, <laughs> yes. Well, Commissioner, it's been already a great week, and big crowds watching the action. Uh, your impression the first year as commissioner of the Louisiana High School Athletic Association. This this is this is a good thing. This is a, a very good thing. We, we get to put our student athletes on display. We get to see their their athletic talents. Uh, big play there. Goodness at the one yard line. Bastrop quickly down the field to make the tackle. But it involves a lot of people fans bands, cheerleaders, coaches, and uh, great fans in the state of Louisiana. Yeah. And, and our staff does such a great job of putting this together. We start working on this months before it, it takes place, and uh, there's a lot of detail that go into this whole thing uh, behind the scenes. So uh, hats off to, to our staff at the LHSA. What are some of the things, uh, Commissioner, that uh, maybe surprised you a little bit uh, when you were not in the position, now you are? Uh, as far as putting on an event like this. I don't know whether there's any big surprises. I've been involved with it for the last several years, but you know when you're actually in charge of it, 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 it you have a much different perspective. Well, and, and, and Commissioner, you know, something that, that really a lot of times gets left unsaid is the host cities for these events and the volunteers and the people here at SMG and the Superdome and what they've got to do. This is not just something where you come in on Thursday, have practice and play games. This is a year-long event that they work with Mitch and with yourself and members of your staff yeah. to make this look the way it looks. It's not just an accident that this goes off without a hitch. No, this is something, like I say, we've met several times on this. B.J. Gazzardo takes a big lead in this particular, uh, putting on this, this uh, these championships. He does a great job of organizing this. Uh, like I say, we couldn't do it without him. Mitch does a great job with this, Mitch Small. And so we have to have meetings on and off all the time to get, try to get this thing done. And uh, the SMG people are great to work with. Uh, they do a very good job. They, many of them say this is one of their favorite events. Well, several of the teams as they walked in, uh, some of them here for the first time, very impressed as they looked up at their surroundings here in the Superdome. Yes, yes. It, well, this is a magnificent place. Uh, and it does make you feel very small when you walk around down there. Well, Commissioner, how about your plans in the near future? Some new projects on the horizon. Yes, uh, we've got some proposals that will be voted on in January that uh, that may may shape the landscape a little bit, uh, just just with uh, with football in particular. Uh, we're looking at maybe playing in divisions. Uh, that will be the proposal. The big the big point there is to, to allow our schools to allow have eight teams in each district, and it would the the uh, travel would not be a big issue with football where it is with basketball, baseball, and softball. And the divisions would only be for football. It they football, would still play it's, classifications it's, yes. and other sports. Right. Uh, before we do TV again, which would be at Sweet 16 in, in Hammond, as Shaw has had to punt the football, there's other events that go on. You had cross country that took place and swimming between the, we did some television at volleyball, but then you had some other events that took place prior to football. But those other sports really starting to get the attention they deserve uh, and and pack facilities and great facilities for those athletes also. Yes, we, we have 25 sports, 13 boys sports, and 12 girls sports, and we try to make sure that each one of them is just as special as the next, and we try to make sure that they get the same uh, recognition. Uh, football is king in Louisiana. Everybody loves football, and so therefore that's why it's the bigger crowds, but we try to make sure everybody, that all of our, our state championships are are hosted at a at a nice venue that somewhere that the student athletes would enjoy be, uh, playing and being a part of. We are joined by the commissioner of the Louisiana High School Athletic Association, Kenny Henderson. Kenny, uh, a great relationship with Cox Sports Television as we are able to showcase these athletes, something that you feel very strongly about as we go all the way to Virginia, Texas, to Virginia, to Florida, and uh, just a great way to show and brag about the athletes we have here in Louisiana. Yes, it is. This is a, this is a great thing, and I, I, I think uh, it's good that, that uh, some of our fans get to see this, and, and even uh, 
even some of the people that are here will get to go home and watch it on, on tape delay. The Basford Rams have good field position at the 44-yard line, already leading six to nothing. They benefit from a five-yard penalty, and uh, Mackey's going to keep it on the right side and be bumped out of bounds after a gain of one. Well, Shaw really couldn't do anything against with that last possession with the ball being at the one-yard line. Very conservative and punted it in Bastrop with excellent field position. Yard marker needs to be changed, and it will be to second down and five. But Shaw certainly doesn't want to let this thing go early on in the game. You give Bash, you spot Bastrop a couple of touchdowns, and you could be in a, in a lot of trouble. Mackey has one running back with him. In the backfield this time, Mackey wants to throw it. He sets up the screen and uh, he dumps it off there to Hawkins. Hawkins is hustling with the football and slashing down inside the 40 to almost to the 37. That's a first down. Scott Bob hitting for Archbishop Shaw. Powered by NOLA.com instant replay. You see it set up. They just, the lineman will let him come through and then Mackey just dumps it off. They pick up first, first down yardage in this and all of our replays Championship events brought to you by NOLA.com. With Rob Mushmack, Dennis McCain, Commissioner Kenny Henderson is with us in the booth and on the headset. Presley Lindecker doing the sideline reporting, and we are glad that you have joined us for high school football wherever you are from Texas to Virginia to Florida. Mackey takes a pitch out and shows Look out the lead. Bye -bye. down. Randall Mackey, touchdown for the Bastard of Rams. Goodness. Well, he's the two-time flag. Commissioner, good eye. Now the commissioner spotted the flag, and this time it's not for celebration. It was during the run. Hold. Holding. Offense. So maybe that helped Mackey just a little bit as he got the edge. The penalty will come from with a foul, and so Bastrop will play first down over again. Well, Commissioner, big crowds, as we mentioned, for all the games, and a record crowd on the first day Friday. We're in the second day right now, so that still is yet to be determined. It is, it is, but it looks like a pretty good crowd so far. We had a good crowd for the 1A game, and now they filed it for the 4A game, and we know we're going to have a good crowd for the 5A game, so maybe we have a chance here to set a new record. Mackey is throwing the football, and it's tipped incomplete. Tried to, throw, yeah, tried to throw the flanker screen, and one of the Eagles got his wing up there and swatted it down. Second down and 10. Christian Lacey was the Eagle, the young man who knocked the ball down after the penalty. It was back at the original line of scrimmage. So we'll play it now, second down 10. Mackey looks at the sidelines to get the play. They're going to have to call a timeout. The time clock down to seven seconds. They wouldn't have got that one off. All right, let's go to break. And, uh, Commissioner, thank you for joining us on our broadcast on CST exclusively. And welcome as the new commissioner of the High School Association. Thank you all very much for everything you all do. Well, he's just settling right into the job, Commissioner Kenny Henderson. Good to have him in the booth with us. Bastrop plays it second down 10. He'll hand off on the right side to Hawkins, who scoops inside the 35-yard line to the 34. Robinson on the hit with Lossier for Shaw. Third and six, and it's early, and there's a lot of football to play, but the Eagles really would like to get a stop here and get it back for their offense with some respectable field position. Well, they dodged a bullet thanks to a flag. The pass is complete on a little slant there to Smith. Smith runs the football inside the 25. He's at the 24, and that's a first down. going, Dennis, that uh, 
Eventually, the officials will have to do something about it, but a lot of join going on between these two teams, and when it's happening this early, it's, it's not going to get any better. A very talented Bastrop team. They have a lot of weapons. Look at Dobbs straight ahead inside the 15, just short of the 10, and another Bastrop first down as they hand it off there to Dwight Hawkins, and he shoots up the middle. Rips his way for another first down. The tackle by Fobb. Boyd came in to help right at the 10 yard line. First down goal to go for the Bastrop High School Ram from way up in North Louisiana, north of Monroe. And the only team from North Louisiana among the 10. Second and goal with 3.55 to go in the first quarter. Boje in on the tackle, and he's assisted by Bob, who's had a big game for Shaw defensively. 99 rushing yards for the Rams. Mackey, touchdown basket. And the ball in the end zone, Josh Bradshaw has it, and the Master Rams have opened up a 12 to nothing lead. Mackey, with a lot of time, gets it to Bradshaw in the back of the end zone, and the Rams are gonna go for the deuce. They're the defending state champions. Mackey's gonna take it in himself. He gets the try, the two-point conversion. So they're at 14 with a two-score lead over the Shaw Eagles. Bradshaw, touchdown Rams. He's 49 yards and 223, 10-yard touchdown pass from Mackey to Bradshaw. Mackey runs it in for the get it. point conversion. The kick goes out of bounds, and so Bastro would penalize for that good field position for the Shaw Eagles who need to move the football. 3.34 to go in the first quarter. Flag on the kickoff. They'll spot the ball at the 35-yard line, so Finally, some respectable field position for the Shaw offense. Head coach Scott Bynes' father. Well, let's see what the Eagles do here. Good shot of Coach Barnes' father there. And Gray is the running back. Look out! Ducky is hit from the back. Down he goes at the 23. Luckily, he was able to hold on to that football. Michael Harris, a hard charging. Michael Harris, the Ram, grabs him and pulls him down at the 23. Got him from the backside, and that ball came free, but Starkey able to bring it back up on his hip. A huge loss of 12. Starkey, the sophomore quarterback from Archbishop Shaw, wants the football. Hands it away to Gray. Gray pounds it in the middle for maybe a yard as we go to Tressy Lindecker. Well, guys, I'm stand standing down here on Shaw's sideline. And as the defense came off the field, I heard their coach tell them, guys, we're doing a great job. Just keep up with the game plan. Their offensive line is not better than you. Stay your position, play your routine, and we'll get there. Very, very optimistic and very upbeat on the Shaw sideline, guys. And that's a good job of coaching as Starkey is blowing. Oh! Receiver, and he's hit at the 35-yard line, and incomplete now. As the ball popped out, the hit from Timothy Fields. Goodness, that, that, that's why 
You don't want to run over the middle. And how did the man not catch the football? Uh, that would be my question. Did you see it come out? Uh, no, I didn't. That's why I asked, how did the man not catch the football? I think they were just surprised that he did. <laughs> Heck, for that hit, I just give it to him. Nice catch, son. Well, he, he saw it hit the ground somewhere, so Shaw will punt the football. Line drive kick. This will be returned. Nice foul on it. Low and to Randall. To Ruben Randall, who brings it back to the 43-yard line. Let's take a quick break. We'll be back in the Louisiana Superdome in just a moment. You're watching the 4A state championship game in beautiful New Orleans. Welcome back, everybody. Bastrop gets the ball back. They do get a penalty, though, on the return, so they'll start from the 28-yard line. Bastrop Rams, red, white, and blue, dark blue with red. They're in white today with the Navy helmets trimmed in red. Sean, the white bridges and the uh, the green jerseys and white headgear. Mackie to throw it. Wide throw it a long way. And way down the field it goes to an open receiver. Randall, touchdown, Bastrop High School. It was Randall Mackie to Ruben Randall. Touchdown, Rams. Wow. Did you see the arm on Randall Mackey? My goodness. Shaw is in shock. One play to the house. I don't know who's looking at that young man, and we've, some say maybe a big time college player, but I'm, I mean, you know, he's a good quarterback. He can do it all, and he can run a multiple of. Of offenses. He can run a spread offense for any college in America. Well, the extra point is no good. But Bastrop goes up by three scores. Goodness. 20 for the Rams. And NOLA.com will show it to you again. One more look from ground level. This is what the defensive backs see. That's not what you want to see. Good looking football team wide open and the throw perfectly thrown by the senior quarterback Randall Mackey. Mackey who hails originally from down in Port Sulphur after Katrina ended up in Bastrop, Louisiana and he's been there for uh, th three years now. Yep. He's happy over there. He, I mean, he he just gunned that thing about 65 yards in the air. And no one expected this. At least in this press box. But they've done it on the ground. They've done it through the air. And they're doing it against a defense that only allows eight points a game the entire season. Now the Rams will kick it off to the Eagles. And the return still going out over the 20-yard line to the 24. As Boyd returns it for Archbishop Shaw. So the Eagles will bring the offense out one more time and Boy, you know they'd like to get that ground game going and get a little confidence and they need to do it in a hurry. They certainly need to put points on the board before Bastra puts up another one. Well, let's see if they start dealing it to Gray a little bit. They will on first down. Gray punches in the middle across the 25 just across the 25 for a gain of two. Well, we played almost 11 minutes of the first quarter. 
It's been all Bastrop Rams. Second down, eight to go for the Shaw Eagles. Opening up on the left side. And a flag is thrown after a big game for Archbishop Shaw. Flag is thrown behind the play, and, and they're going to call holding. Well, it opened up out there for Hill, Pierre Hill, the wide receiver who was swinging around. Shaw is guilty of holding. From the spot of the foul, they'll, they'll mark off the penalty against the Eagles. Holding, offense, repeat second down. Well, let's take a look at it on the NOLA.com replay. It appears they called it on the wide out and that sets up a second down and 12 and there's nothing doing in the middle the middle of the Bastrop defensive line halting the action shutting it down and bringing up a third down situation. So third down and 12 for Shaw. That'll be the final play of the first quarter. The Eagles in no hurry to run the third and 12. The Bastrop Rams down from North Louisiana. Happy with the way things went in the first quarter. And they will carry a 20 to nothing lead into the second quarter of the 4A state championship game in the Big Easy. Welcome back, everybody, with Rob Mushback. I'm Dennis McCain, Tressie Leindecker, with reports from the sideline, and we're glad that you're with us. Wherever you are, from Texas to Virginia to Florida and all across the great state of Louisiana up in to Arkansas, the Shaw Eagles with the football in a third down 12 situation behind the intended receiver, trying to get it to Hill that time. So the Eagles, uh, Rob, will have to put it back to the Rams. And that's not what the Eagles wanted to do. And Bastrop is going to get it back and going to get some pretty good field position out of it, too. Derek Jambon is standing at his own six-yard line. He'll punt it away. Randall is retreating back to his own 38 and waiting for the punt. Randall watches it bounce, picks it up. He's trying to set it up outside. Randall's dancing, but he won't be able to get to the outside as he is down at the 48. This is a repeat of last year's championship game as we look back. The last year, how it unfolded. Shaw got one early, and things were looking good for the Eagles, and then Bastrop. Came back and just got it inside the cone. Mackey. And Bastrop went on to win it. 28 to 14. Here in the dome. Well, Mackey's way back in the shotgun, the naked shotgun. Mackey's looking. He's still looking. He's throwing. Just flips it way down the field. He has a receiver down around the three. And it's incomplete. Nice coverage. Flag on the play. 
Well, did Mackey step past the line of scrimmage? Well, you can only have one of them. It'll be 10 yards. Chase first quarter stats and, well, like the scoreboard, Bastrop with plenty and Shaw not with a whole lot to speak of. Minus two yards of total offense to about 170. A lot of football left to go, though, and a good defense for Shaw. They just got to get some stops. At the 35-yard line, Bastrop has a man in motion. They make the handoff up the middle and then uh, pitch it to the outside to Brad Shaw. Brad Shaw slides to the outside, picks up a nice gain. Boyd pushes him out of bounds, but uh, not before Brad Shaw moves the football out to near the 45-yard line. You and Ralph both looking uh, well rested. Obviously, the uh, the accommodations are suiting both of you very nicely. And Eddie Jacobs, a good friend of ours over at the Hampton Inns and Suites in New Orleans, taking care of you guys. And of course, I'm slumming it across the street, but I had to stay there due to some meetings that we had. But uh, you look well rested. No dark circles. The hair's well done. You manicured. Well, I'll tell you this, Rob, and I, and I say this honestly. A lot of great hotels in the city of New Orleans, but my favorite place to stay is that Hampton Convention Center. It's beautiful. It's an old, uh, over 100-year-old building. Old warehouse, yeah. and it's just beautiful. beautiful. The, the rooms are outstanding, and uh, the wooden floor. Good ball. Ball start. Offense. The beams and the high ceilings and uh, the good breakfast, and uh, just very, very relaxing, very quiet. And a great host in Eddie Jacobs. Thank you, Eddie. Eddie Jacobs, Hampton Inn and Suites. And that's our home away from uh, home when we visit the Big Easy. Second down for the Rams. They'll need 18 for the first. Mackey will keep it. The Eagles won't let him advance. Only a couple of yards there as uh, Franchina. Is the Eagle who makes the stop. Third and 16 now for Bastrop. The Rams in no hurry, leading 20 to nothing. They have three wide receivers to the right, two to the left, five, and all they'll do the bubble screen across midfield to the 47 yard line. Still about five yards short of the first. Don't be too quick to think they can punt this. Fourth Josh and Bradshaw. Four. Yeah, fourth and four. Bradshaw's been active in the game as senior. This could be a turning point for Shaw if they can get a stop. That could be a big if. The play clock is at eight. Two receivers to either side of the field, and uh, Mackey keeps the football. Nope. The Eagles stop it. Just inside the 45, the Eagles hit Mackey. They were keying on him, and a nice stop by the Archbishop Shaw Eagles. Well, that snap got back there in a hurry. Goodness. And maybe that disrupted the play, maybe not even the, the play that was called, but Connors was the Eagle who made the, the tackle. Starkey still calling the signals. The sophomore will hand it to Gray. Down goes Gray at the... 41, a hard-charging Aaron Randall in the backfield. 
Aaron Randall must have been in the Shaw huddle because that was, you can't get there any quicker. Well, he levels the ball carrier, flattens Gray at the 41 for a loss of three, a loss of almost four. Here's the shotgun look now for Starkey, who throws to an open receiver. Very quickly hit, though. Forward progress stop. Just short of the 45, Anderson, Eldrick Anderson. Now he's going to get a couple, but still, how the Rams get here pretty impressively. That uh, that Franklinton game was big. That, that quarterfinal matchup, they got... They got nose to nosed with the Demons and Benton for a while a struggle, but uh, Brad Bradshaw's club is back trying to win another one here in the Big Easy. Look out! Starkey is flattened. He's level back at the 35-yard line. Here came uh, well, uh, several of the Bastard Rams offered. Alfred was one of them who came off of the right side of the defensive line untouched and Starkey never saw it wow fourth and 19 under eight minutes to go in the half shot of punted away Patterson's deep this time for the Bastrop Rams a short kick that won't be returned. It'll hit and take a bounce for Bastrop and straight out of bounds as we break it exclusively on CST, the LHS AA 4A state championship from New Orleans. Welcome back, everybody. Well, we're in December. We wish we could say it was looking a lot like Christmas, but it's 80 degrees in New Orleans. A beautiful day, though. And a very uh, nice day for the Bastrop Rams so far. It's Christmas for the Rams. Everything going the way of the Bastrop Rams as they play at second down and 10. Three receivers as Mackey rolls to the right side and stops and goes back the other way. Mackey is pulled to the ground after gaining two yards. Boudreaux. Stopped him after a gain of just over one. Bashaw's done a good job lately of stopping Randall. And you got the feeling right there, Randall tried to bait him a little bit, coming to the right, put on the brakes, and then took off the other way, but they did a good job. Uh, Randall Mackey did in trying to get it to the outside, but Shaw did a good job in not letting him make the edge. Randall Mackey throws the football in complete. Nice defensive effort that time by Hughes. Anthony Hughes tying that one perfectly. Maybe a little too much air underneath of that one by uh, Mackey, but Hughes stepped in front, knocked it down. Third down and well, make that fourth down in nine. So the Shaw defense, the last couple of times out of it, have held their own. Well, they have 7.26 to go in the second quarter. Let's see if the offense can get something going as Bastrop will punt it to them. Boudreaux is standing back at the 20. A low kick may be returnable. Boudreaux uh, can't uh, control you know the ball, and uh, Bastrop will kill it inside the two-yard line right at the two-yard line. That is where Shaw will put it in play, but a good job hustling down the field and killing that ball at the two for the Bastrop Rams. CST's college basketball coverage is underway, and we've got more than 115 men's and women's games on the schedule. CST's college basketball coverage continues all the way to March Madness. Get the complete schedule at CoxSportsTV.com. 115 college basketball games. That's a bunch. 
Well, it was first touched at the four, so if you kill it at the two and it doesn't go in the end zone, it goes back to where you first touched the ball. That was at the four, but still, uh, Bastrop, uh, they have the uh, Eagles backed up. Starkey's up under center. They'll give it to Gray. Gray's hit in the backfield. Loss of one on first down. Quickly in there was Fraction. The Terrius Fraction. Second and 11 for the Eagles from the three. Lost a yard on that play. From the three. Starkey to throw. He has an open receiver, and he gets it to Walker. Out of bust the 15-yard line to the 17 and a half, and that's a Shaw first down. Patterson, Edward Patterson was covering. Nolo.com replay. Starkey had time that time. Found a soft spot in the coverage and got it in there, and a first down and a much needed first down for the Shaw Eagles. Good throw by the sophomore. Starkey is. Ron Walker went out, found an open spot, turned around hook, and Starkey put it right there with good time. Starkey wants to throw it again. This time it's too high and incomplete. And all the billing coming in all week, and including in our pregame show, talked about the defense of the Shaw Eagles. But Bassett said, hey, we're Ram tough. We can play some defense, too. They've had sacks. They've had turnovers. They've had stuffs in the backfield, and they've had the blind side blitz working, too. Second down and 10 to go for the Eagles. They play it from their own 17-yard line. Give it to Gray. Gray puts his head down, pounds in there, but he runs straight into a couple of Rams who deck him. Michael Harris was one of the Bastra players who was there to flatten the ball carrier. Well, we played halfway through the second quarter. The clock's ticked down to 544. Another big third down play for Archbishop Shaw. Time out, Rams. So the Rams call a timeout. We'll be right back after we pause for a moment on CST. That's very important. Third down, eight to go. Starkey is in the shotgun. He'll roll to the right, looking for someone to throw it. Big pressure, though, and Starkey uh, just throws it away. Bastrop brings the pressure. Getting up really slowly. It looks like he might have taken a hit on that, on that throwing arm. Being helped up by one of his linemen, and he's looking around. Trying to figure out where the Rams are coming from. Ruben Randall is deep for the Bastard Rams. Shaw will punt it. And defended very nicely as they cover the punt that uh, is rolling inside the 35-yard line to the 32. Well, can the Shaw defense stop them again? Or get a turnover, give them something. A little, a little edge, a little Mo. You want Dr. Mo on your side. Well, all of the exciting action can be purchased. You can relive the, the uh, magic of the 2007 LHSA State Farm Prep Classic. DVDs are only $30, and uh, you can get them at that website. As, as well as all the beautiful pictures from all five games at flashpicksphoto.com. That's flashpicksphoto, spelled P-I-X, dot com. Wide open. Wide open is Smith. Smith still down. Got the ball. He's looking for a block. 
He's inside the 10. Smith's out of bounds, but he's inside the 10 at the seven yard line. Boyd wow. ran him down. Was looking for a block and he got it at about the 30. And that sprung him. Here's the block right here. Watch him wait. He has a take. Now take it. And it was more of just getting away rather than have to lay a block. Watch, you'll see it better here. Coming from the far side, looks like five. Randall Mackey has Hawkins with him to the backfield. Hawkins has the ball. Hawkins puts his head down, down to the six yard line, a gain of uh, one on first down. Well, they keep you honest, Bastrop does, Rob. They have a number of ways that uh, they can attack you, but they always keep you honest with just a, a dive play, and now watch what happens. It's Randall Mackey is getting the direct snap, and he'll throw. Throw it. Score it. Touchdown, Bastrop High School. Touchdown to Coleman. Preston Coleman, touchdown Rams. He's using them all, isn't he? He's thrown it to Randall, to Smith, to Coleman. And they're gonna, they're gonna go for the deuce. Well, they better do it uh, fairly quickly as uh, they put a man in motion, try for a two-point conversion, and uh, uh, Mackey uh, is not gonna get there. Not this time. Yes. And uh, rudely hit by the Shaw Eagles, but the Bastrop Rams have six more points on the board. And now the young men from way up in the northeast part of the state of Louisiana have a commanding 46 to nothing lead. Well, that's where we'll be uh, heading later. That's Canal Street in the Big Easy. We'll maybe slip into one of the cafes there and have a little post-game dinner tonight. Afterwards, we always eat well the last night oh, with yeah. New Orleans. So of course, we eat well yeah, every we, night we haven't we backed off since we but, got here. But, but we'll be on Canal tonight. And how many joy? I mean, how many different places could you eat here over a, it's, it's over many, a year? Uh, and we and we've tried them most, the most, the majority of them. But again, you know, this morning we started uh, Cafe Du Monde with the beignets, and then we, you know, eat a little muffalata around mm -hmm. lunchtime. And tonight we're going to top it off maybe with maybe one of those big steaks. And we'll head back to Baton Rouge tomorrow and get back to the real world and go to work. Sounds good. Here's the kickoff to the two-yard line and out to the 18. A pretty sight. I wish we could get our helicopter to fly back over again and show the dusk in New Orleans is a beautiful thing. It's uh, The city has so many lights. The tall buildings, the just a really special place. One thing, uh, when we come to New Orleans, I always like to ask the tourists uh, what surprises them a little bit about New Orleans. You know, the one thing they all say is, I had no idea that this was a big city. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought we had a little French Quarter, maybe some yeah, D -row, D -row, Anything over about around. eight stories, they thought it was a, was a big city. But it, uh, <laughs> at time, places, when you come into the city, it looks like a Chicago or a, or a Manhattan if you catch the right view. But it still has that great tradition ambiance of the quarter the ball is batted away Winston was defending for Bastrop well Shaw would like to have just a long drive here and put some points on the board before the half but You've got to try to move it. You don't want to give it back to Bastra because you know they will look for for some more points before the first half ends. Starkey to throw it. Starkey has one-on-one -on -one coverage with his wide receiver. And a flag comes flying in.
Tried to get it to Walker. Flag on the play. And Bastrop going to be guilty of pass interference. And well, that young man right there doesn't think so. And let's see. Well, that'll be 15 yards, but the uh, offensive uh, man reached back. <laughs> yeah, well, I. Uh, <laughs> I guess if you can't say anything good, you don't say anything no, at you don't all, say right? Anything. Okay. 15 yards after it's over on Bastrop. Pass interference. Defense. 15 yards, automatic first down. And Rob, you know how you explain that one? Must have been early. <laughs> yeah, before the camera got rolling. And total offense. Whoa. Bastrop with 291 against one of the premier defenses in the state of Louisiana. Ella Whistle comes in. This should be encroachment. Neutral zone, in, neutral zone infraction. Dead ball, encroachment, defense. Five yard penalty on the Bastrop Rams. 20 yards in penalties have given Shaw pretty good field position. They're out at the 39-yard line. Well, let's see if they can... Uh, it's Gray to the outside. Gray looking uh, for somewhere to go, but he's dancing around. The whole time he was doing that, the, the, the Rams were coming up, and then finally he's hit. A couple of Rams got him, led first of all by Anderson, and then uh, here came Alford. And down went Gray for a loss on first down. Got to set up a second down and seven. Two wide out to the left and one to the right. And Starkey to throw it again. Starkey is throwing it short. Well, that's our guy again. Caught by Gray, but another loss is Aaron Randall makes the tackle. Randall has got it figured out. Third down and 12. Officials blow it dead. They started first and five. Now it's third and 12 after two losses. Sideline warning on. Sideline warning on Bastrop. And with the sideline warning also comes a timeout. We'll take the timeout. We'll come back. 2.46 to go in the second quarter. From the Superdome in the Big Easy. Welcome back, everybody, with Rob Mushmack, Dennis McCain, with Tressy Lindacker Field Reports. And we're glad that uh, you have joined us, Archbishop Shaw, taking on the defending state champion, Bastrop Rams. And right now, the Rams are uh, continuing the same spot that they left off last year. There's a flag and possibly intentional grounding coming against Shaw. Well, they call intentional, intentional grounding on Shaw. And on the quarterback, so that'll be the uh, loss of down, and we'll bring up fourth down. And the penalty. Five yard penalty, back to the 15. Shaw will punt. grounding, offense. Five yards, loss of down.
Shaw to punt from the goal line. Patterson is standing at his own 45 for Bastrop, and the Rams drop back to block. A low kick that Patterson is trying to control, and now he does. Across midfield, Patterson's going. There's a flag on the field, and two flags on the field. Patterson's to the 35, but this one is coming back. Pun returns are just no fun anymore. I mean, it is. There's, there's going to be a flag almost every time there is a punt return. Now think about that on kickoff sometime as you watch games. You'd just be better off just go ahead and take it at the 20. Just you take return it, it they 20. throw the hole yeah. with the block in the back, and you end up at the 10. <laughs> you just soon fair catch or, or, or let it go and take it at the 20. I mean. We got Holden doing the return. Receivers. We got Holden prior to the end of the kick. Receivers. So they're going to take the one during the return because it will happen from out at the, about the 49-yard line. And so you'll penalize 10 yards on Bastrop. And uh, by the time they uh, stop walking, it'll be back, you would think, somewhere around the Bastrop 40. So Shaw is going to benefit greatly from this. Now, one of the officials just dropped another yellow flag. Yeah, they did. It does go back to the 40. And Holden doing the return. Receiver. First down. Okay. That's where it is, the 40-yard line. That's, and that's what we thought from the start. A couple of minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. Can we just hike the football? At the 40-yard line, Bastrop plays it. Randall Mackey, the fine senior quarterback from Bastrop, is still in the game with two wide receivers to the left. Five wide. To the right, two and three is five, and the look-in slant there is complete out to the 46. So Randall Mackey gets it to... Reuben Randall for six yards. Two minutes to go in the second quarter. Mackey out there to Randall, pushed out of bounds, just short of the first down marker. That'll make it third down and one. Price shoved him out. Stops the clock with 151 to go and plenty of time for the Bastro Browns. Certainly. Capable of striking very, very quickly. Third and one, and Mikey's gonna come under center just to do something different. Hand it. Straight ahead, right at the first down marker. Got it. And the spot will put him at midfield, and that will be a Bastrop first down and stop the clock. So the clock will stop until the chains are reset. And Bastrop will be ready to snap it at the whistle. Hawkins just pulled his way in the middle, got the first down. Mackey now will roll to the right. Look out. And then roll back to the left. Then take off. Oh, and take off. Inside the 30. At the 25. Mackey is looking for somewhere to go and dancing in the middle of the field of the 14. A big block for Mackey during the run. And whoa. That's one of those open field blocks that you just... If you're a defender, you never see it coming. And if you're on the offense, you, you love it. <laughs> you know exactly where you're going. Here it is again on the NOLA.com replay. The whole play rolls up and there with the whole backside of the field wide open. And then he gets the block. So 118 to go. And Bassett is setting up shop again. 
setting up shot now down at the five yard line but they'll play just short of the five a second down they'll play a second down in two as Bastrop gets the ball to Coleman one more time on the ISO 29 on 29 rudely on 29 Mackey with a second down two to go hands off to Hawkins who is falling with the football submarining after he slipped to about the four Ashton doesn't have marker. any timeouts left the clock is continuing to tick he did not get the first down it yeah. would stop on a first down but it's third down in uh, just about a foot Mackey Drummond the ball, picks it up, and then goes right down to the one-yard line. And, uh, well, he just kept going. I think they marked his forward progress He's initially be down at the, at the one. one. It's going to be first. The clock continues to run, which has got to be stopped. They'll fix that. They'll fix that. The clock, it's going to be a first down. They're going to run it back up to about 15 seconds. And the clock will stop, will start as soon as... The first down marker is set. Well, well, they haven't started. This, this is going to be the last play of the first half, and uh, Mackey's going to try to get in. And he did. I don't know if he did or not, Rob. They call him down, and, they, and, and if he's down, the first half's going to be over. They didn't put any um, any time back on the clock. They sure didn't, and Brad Bradshaw is going to let them have it. That's the end of the half. So Bastrop gets it to the one, but they can't put it in. Well, the ball came down right on the goal line. And Brad Bradshaw continues to politic. But we're going to the half. It's halftime of the 4A state championship game. Bastrop, the defending state champions in Louisiana, looking pretty good right now at 26 to nothing over the Archbishop Shaw Eagles. The only North Louisiana, South Louisiana matchup in the state championships this year. All the other teams, the other games, teams from South Louisiana. In all of the 10 teams, four Rams are playing in we have a Ram in every game except one. All right, let's go to Tressie. All right, Coach, you shut out a very tough playing offense with Shaw. Mm -hmm. Well, they're a good football team. The field position has been in our favor during this time. And so, you know, we, we needed to get those points there and get the opportunity, you know, to go up more because Shaw's not done. You know, they're, they're too tradition rich football program. We've got to come back and play this just as well in the second half, if not better. Randall Mackey has really had a good first half. Well, other than jumping in the end zone, he sure has. All right, Coach, good luck to you in the second half. Guys, back up to you. All right, Tressie, 26 to nothing. Bastrop, as we go to halftime on CST, it's the 4A state championship game from the... Welcome back, everybody, with Rob Mishmack. Dennis McCain and we are at halftime of the LHS AA State Farm Prep Classic. Now let's go would like to, entertain to the field with a high kick for entertainment running away. by the Bastrop High School Band.
how the VHS Pop Pep Squad will perform a palm routine to 400 degrees. Welcome back, everyone. We're at the Louisiana Superdome where we're watching the 4A state championship. Shaw is trailing to Bastrop, 0 to 26. We're now going to throw down to the field where Shaw's band will be performing along with their Eagle S. Welcome back, everybody. It's nighttime now in the Big Easy. As you look at the Louisiana Superdome, we're inside where Bastrop has a 26 to nothing lead over the Archbishop Shaw Eagles as we play for the 4A State Championship of Louisiana. 
With Rob Mushmack, I'm Dennis McCain. Presley Linedecker will have second half reports all through the evening, and we're glad that all of you have joined us as the Bastrop High School Rams are kicking off to Archbishop Shaw. The return is a good one out to the 35 by Curran as we look at first half stats by Chase. Well, <clears throat> like the scoreboard says, 350 total yards for Bastrop, minus two yards of total offense for Shaw. They've just got to get something going offensively. 0 of 7 on third down conversions. They've won the time of possession battle, but just have not been able to do a whole lot in the time that they've had the football. Well, the sophomore quarterback is Andrew Starkey. He'll give it to Gray. Gray is right down the sideline with it, and he'll get it out to the 40-yard line. Pick up five yards on first down. Williams shut it down for the Bastrop Rams. So that's a positive gain on first down for the Shaw Eagles as they pick up five. Starkey this time will be in the shotgun. Give it to Gray again. Bastrop's all over that one. Right at the line of scrimmage, no gain. Big hit by the Bastrop Rams. So a third down and about five. The class 4A record. Fewest total yards allowed in a 4A title game in history was 103. Neville in 1982. Bastrop tonight has allowed three. At the 40-yard line, here's a third down and five situation for the Eagles. The Eagles in their familiar green uniforms and uh, Stocky wants to throw it. Stocky's looking down the field. He throws the football incomplete short of his intended target. He was trying to get it to Walker, Ron Walker. That would have been a first down. Walker was open. Looking back at the quarterback, the Eagles will punt it away. Fourth and five. The Eagles drop a couple of guys back. Now the punt is away. And it is a bullet. Bouncing inside the five and out of yeah, very nicely at the two. What a punt. Boudreaux, Bo Boudreaux hustled down the field for Shaw and grabbed it at the two. 58-yard punt out at the two. Mackey, 300 yards of total offense and four touchdowns. Another day at the office for Randall Mackey. Has not made a decision on colleges yet. LSU is on his list. Uh, Louisiana Monroe. University of Arkansas. The Oklahoma Sooners are making an offer. Mackey wants to throw it. He throws it to an open receiver too high and too far. For his receiver, Moore. Stanley Moore. Moore was open Moore, in the scene. Moore was wide open, and Randall Mackey just patted himself on the chest and said, that's my fault, guys. Well, the bad news is you have to start from your two, but a big drive, and that's that's another 98 yards on your stats. You have a, that's a good one. Yep. That's one you want if you're a quarterback. Let's see if Mackey can get them away from the two-yard line. He'll keep it to the left side. Has running room. A cross. The 10. The ball is on the shot. There's a They're saying it's down. The official is saying down at the 11. Mm -hmm. 
So it looked like, like, yeah, it looked like a break for Shaw, but they're gonna say he was down, and they uh, they're wrong. I'm sorry. And Coach Barnes' father is pointing at the at the big screen, and when you're down 26 to nothing, and you need a break, and you get one, and uh, it gets taken away, then that hurts. I'm not a Shaw graduate, and I don't cheer for Bastrop, but I'm gonna tell you that uh, that's a tough one. Mackey has an open receiver out to the left side. He swings it up to Bradshaw. Josh uh, Bradshaw, senior to senior Mackey to Bradshaw. A Bastrop first down. Scott Barnes' father is has about had enough. And you be the judge at home. This is the best angle we've got here. The ball is out and the knees were both in the air. So again, they don't have the benefit of the instant replay, but it was emphatic. I mean, he came in quickly, didn't hesitate, and said that he was down. They made the call quick, pitching to the outside. Stop and go, and Bradshaw is hit, and down he goes at the 35 yard line, a nice gain of seven on first down. And speaking of records, the most total yards by a team in a 4A title game was Salmon back in 2000. Tristan Smith and that club won it all at 476. Bastrop right now at 382. So. They could, uh, they could get the double header. Randall Mackey plays and completes the pass out to the 44-yard line. A good throw by Mackey and a good catch there by Randall, Reuben Randall. Boyd was defending and uh, also Bob out there for Archbishop Shaw. Well, the official is motioning that Bastrop is guilty of something on the play. We'll check that uh, penalty out. The excellent nose guard for Shaw, Chaz Tranchina. Be intended to on the Shaw sideline. He's face down in front of the bench. Illegal motion, offense, for feet second down. Illegal motion on Bastrop. Didn't see a flag, still do not see a flag. But it's marked off against the Rams, and now they'll play it from the 30-yard line, and they'll play it second down, eight to go. Mackey sets up the screen to Bradshaw. Nowhere to go, so he tries to get out on the outside, tries to make the edge. He's out of bounds. Good job by... Archbishop Shaw, first they recognized the screen on the inside, and then to the outside, they push Bradshaw out of bounds. Third down. 11 and let's see if Shaw can get a stop right here. Randall Mackey is uh, poised to throw it and he throws it incomplete. He had another wide open receiver in Bradshaw. And uh, Randall uh, Mackey a little high on a couple of passes lately. So two of them were overthrown. And if he's on the money, that offense is still on the field. Well, the Rams will punt it. Wilson is punting. Bo Boudreaux hopes to return the punt. Fair catch by Boudreaux. Hits the ground, and then Boudreaux runs it, so we'll see a flag. Yeah, you'll see As a we flag. take a break exclusively on CSC with 8.53 to go in the third quarter.
Welcome back. Let's look at the last play. Clearly a, a fair catch by Boudreaux. But you still can't run it even if it bounces. No, no. Keldrick Anderson. Shaken up on the play, and that five-yard penalty was for calling a fair catch and then uh, running it, I guess, officially delay a game. So let's see what happens now. Shaw still has great field position at the 38-yard line. Starkey. Hands it to Gray, who pounds it in the middle. Slams in there to the 40-yard line, giving two. And an eagle. I believe that's Gray. Stephon Gray, the senior. Slow getting up and hobbles off. Well, he didn't, uh, he didn't let up. He just... Punched it in there, but a couple of Rams were waiting for it. That'll set up a second down, eight to go. The Eagles with two men out to the right and two out to the left. Starkey to throw it. Oh, he is hit from the blind side. Touchdown. Picked up. To the end zone it goes. Touchdown basket. High school. Touchdown to and the Andre Bradshaw. Starkey is face down at the 31-yard line. He never saw it coming. Now you hear, heard of being blindsided. That, that, that's a textbook definition of it. And the Andre. One more time on the NOAA.com. As soon as he sets to throw it, goodness. The defensive end, DeAndre Bradshaw, lowered the boom, and boy, it's just good to see him up. Starkey got it full force from Bradshaw, and he's uh, he's he's down on the bench. He's they need to make sure he know where, knows where he's at. You don't get. You can't get hit hit any harder than no, that, I'm telling no, no. you. And from the blind, it's when you don't see it coming. Yeah, it's just, but at least the body is relaxed. Yeah. You don't have time to tense up. Mackey, no good. The two-point try is not there, but Bastrop has 32 points. One more time on the NOLA.com replay, full speed. Goodness. Bradshaw did it all. He hit him. The ball sat on the ground for a while, and he picks it up and takes it in. 32 to nothing. Bastrop High School trying to defend their state championship. And what do you tell Starkey? Get up, and uh, we're going to do it again. So Bastrop will kick off. Get your sports fix every Saturday night on CST with CST Tonight at 10 p.m. Central. It's the most in-depth coverage of your favorite teams and the best highlights from the entire week. That's Victor Howell and Paul Crane live from the studio every Saturday night at 10 p.m. on CST Tonight. So Master kicks off. They've been doing that a lot tonight. Wilson kicks it in into the end zone. It goes. Shaw will play it from the 20-yard line. How do you respond if you're Archbishop Shaw now, Rob, after well, you had your, defensive touchdown? You had your best running back hobble off the field, and then you had your quarterback 
get crushed on successive plays, but Starkey's back in, but Gray is not. Well, Starkey's a tough young man, and he's a good athlete, gonna get uh, even better this time he hands off to Current. Current is hit by Harris. You know, just not enough is being said tonight about the way Bastion is playing defense. I mean, we are, we are in the middle of the third quarter, and by my stats, which are unofficial, Shaw has minus net yardage. And that is, that is a tremendous feat in a high school football game at this level with the type of talent that's on this football field. Starkey this time fakes the handoff, throws the pass, and it's almost intercepted, well covered by Pastor. They had at least five defenders in the area of the pass. So it'll be a third down and long again, and you know what that means. Somebody from Bastrop's coming from the edge. Well, when you roll out like that, like Starkey uh, did, it buys you a little time to throw the ball, but it limits the field that you can throw it to, and uh, Bastrop just slid over there with him and was well defended. Now let's see if the Rams fall back or if they bring pressure, they'll just uh, rush three. The pass is caught and then incomplete. It looks like it's catching, uh, he, he, it's catching a fumble. Yeah, he caught, they're going to say he caught it, then he was hit and fumbled. And the ball was recovered by Bastrop. So, well then, <laughs> I would guess it's Bastrop's football. There's the catch. There's the fumble, and Bastrop jumps on it. Well, how do you spot it, and Shaw stays on offense? Was he down? That's a good question. That's either incomplete or a fumble. You would think. Well, the Bastrop sideline is screaming, but their offense is on the sideline. Well, maybe we missed something. I'm not, I'm not sure what I missed. I thought here's the pass. I thought incomplete. Here's the catch. There's the, the fumble. Gone. And there's the recovery. It's either incomplete or, or a fumble. fumble. You're right, Dennis. Uh, I, mean, I, I, don't know, I, I don't think we missed anything. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe we'll get an explanation. Maybe the knee called the knee down, but it was a, looked like a long way from being down. Well, the knee went down quickly, we're told, but uh, anyway, down right there, and Shaw has the football to the outside. And no gain on second down. Whitmore came in and stopped the action for Bastrop High School. Setting up a third down and two. I, Six third down to two. Go. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what, what I missed. Here's the pass. Incomplete or didn't hit the ground. It's intercepted by the Bastrop Rams back to the 37 yard line. So that one hovered in the air. Williams grabbed it. That's about where the last fumble was. Let's take another look at it on the NOLA.com instant replay. Here's the throw. It's tipped up into the air. Never hits the ground. No, it did hit the ground. <laughs> Oh, Nelly. Uh, Let's take a look at this one. Did they're going to say that's complete, and then he fumbled it, and Bastrop picked it up. What? That's what they're saying, because Bastrop's offense is on the field. So the Rams get the ball at the 37-yard line, and uh, Randall Mackey's still in the game. He's being pressured, and Randall Mackey is getting the flag, comes in back at the 44. <laughs> This could, this could be 15 yards on Shaw for the late hit.
One more look at it on the sidelines on the NolaReplay.com. Dove on top when he was out of bounds is what they're going to call. 15 yards against the Shaw Eagles. Yasha will rack it right now inside the 30 to the 29. Dead ball, personal foul, defense. Scott Barnes' father is, I think, just as shocked as, as we are as to exactly what's going on. There's a couple of uh, interesting plays. Just, you know, I'd like to see them again. I, I, I just I feel like I missed something. Uh, all right, at the 30, inside uh, the 30 at the 29-yard line, Bastrop plays it now, second down, two to go. 11 penalties on Bastrop for 99 yards. Mackey pitches.